would have thought that the girl who taught herself how to code, who just got her computer science minor last year, would now be interning at NASA this summer as a software engineer. Thus far, my journey in tech has been incredibly humbling and I'm forever grateful. Growing up in a Puerto Rican and Nigerian household in Yonkers, New York has definitely shaped the woman that I am today. When I was younger, my parents deeply instilled the immense value of education and grit, always telling me to pursue my dreams and push forward my passions. This was an incredibly important message as I joined my high school robotics team. I remember I joined as a freshman and it was really daunting at first. There was 36 members, I was one of five girls, mind you, I never knew how to code, didn't even know what that meant to be honest with you. It wasn't until my junior year that one, at one of our competitions we competed against this all women's team and it was so inspiring to me. I was like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it. And that was a huge motivation, like pushed towards my tech journey in a sense. So I remember going home, looking up on YouTube, okay, how do I code? How do I do something with like electrical engineering? And that was kind of my first introduction. So long story short, I taught myself how to code. I taught myself the basics of electrical engineering and was able to translate the skills that I learned online to a physical product during a team meeting. I guess like a huge obstacle that I faced being a woman of color in computer science was just the lack of representation. For example, last year I was in a class, there was over 70 students and I was one of four students who looked like me so it was just really hard to relate to other students in the class or relate to the teachers and I remember I went to the tutor and I asked my question and he was like, you should know this. It's easy, you should know this. And that was really damaging to me, to say the least. From that experience it taught me is just advocating and increasing representation in this field. And that was one of the main motivations for me to actually start teaching with Black Girls Code. So Black Girls Code is a global nonprofit. Essentially the goal is to teach girls as young as seven to 17, even beyond the introductions of computer science, introducing them to technology, artificial intelligence, building robots, and I actually fell in love. Combining my love for teaching, combining my love for drawing, and just everything and all the work that I've been doing with Black Girls Code has led me to today to creating the Black Girls Code The Future Coloring Book. What I did with the coloring book, you can see images of girls who look like me with afros, braids, cornrows, scarves. Just, I wanted to have a lot of hair diversity and just see show that everyone can be seen and heard and represented in the book so being afro latina in this field you know studying computer science and bio there's been a lot of times where i'm told that i can't do this i can't do this because i'm a girl i can't do this because i'm afro latina and especially for the younger generations i want to say don't internalize that and don't listen to it especially with my coloring book just showing the graphics of representation and with the role models that i placed here with their codes i want you guys to Read these quotes, find your own role models, and be inspired to continue going. And don't internalize anything that anyone has to say. Um, continue being great, and yeah, thank you.